All right, we're going to begin with the COVID pandemic, everybody, now colliding with the start of the school year in Florida as state and local leaders fight over masks in the classrooms. And the debate comes as Florida shatters its record for new daily COVID cases for the third time this past week. NBC News reporter Vaughn Hillier joins us now from Tallahassee. So, Vaughn, first of all, where do numbers stand right now there in Florida and especially where you are right now in the state's capital? Yeah, good morning, Joe and Yasmin. What you have are essentially the rising number of cases and the record here in Florida of more than 23 daily cases here this weekend, along with the start of school. Teachers are reporting here beginning today, the students on Wednesday. And what do you got? You got these two things coming to a head. This pandemic, this surge among the unvaccinated. And when we say the unvaccinated, that includes kids under the age of 12 who don't have access to the vaccine here at this point. And that is colliding here with a record number of hospitalizations in the state as well, breaking the record for the last six days. There are now more than 13,000 individuals in Florida hospitalized with COVID here. This is a tough situation as parents try to get their kids back to school and at the same time keep them safe. So, Vaughn, Governor Ron DeSantis banned schools from putting mask mandates in place, saying if they do require masks, schools could actually lose state funding. Are there any school districts defying the governor? And how do families feel about the governor's decision? Yeah, this is the tough political aspect of this year that impacts the health. Essentially, you have a governor who is uh, implementing a policy that goes against the very science and the very effectiveness that we know that masks serve. He has barred school districts across Florida from requiring their students to wear masks. Now, Palm Beach County and Duval County, which encompasses the greater Jacksonville area, those two school districts, they have found this workaround where they're requiring masks, but parents can opt their students out, but they have to come in and explicitly sign that their student is opted out of wearing masks. But that is where most other school districts here are having to wrestle with the concerns of parents and the concerns of students here. I want to let you listen to uh, one grandmother we talked to, Wendy Hackle here, uh, this weekend here, who uh, wants the school district to put up a fight. The governor signed an executive order barring school districts from implementing mask mandates. What do you want the school districts to now do? I want the school districts to stand up against the governor and make a stand based on the health and well-being of our children. That's really the only thing that's important. Zero children under 12 have been vaccinated. Zero. I talked to two other parents who don't intend to send their kids to school here in Leon County if, in fact, the school district doesn't require their students to wear masks. Vaughn, I know you've been in Florida for a few days now, and you also spoke to a teacher there in Tallahassee. What did she say about how the mask debate is impacting the start of the school year? I mean, essentially, you're dealing with a very vulnerable and impressionable population here when the height of what teachers are supposed to be doing is educating and teaching. And the teachers I talked to said that this gets in the way. It's distracting, and also it makes it difficult to talk about serious subjects like a pandemic and the transmissibility of a very contagious virus. I want to let you listen to part of the conversation you'll hear from uh, Shari. She's a first grade teacher here in Leon County. So I think that we just have to have conversations, rely on the science, and make decisions that are going to keep our children safe so that we can focus on learning, because that's really why we're all here. We have an opportunity to teach this amazing sense of, of civil responsibility to children. And if everybody's wearing a mask, I can take that off the table and I can focus on the teaching. And it's our job to make families feel as comfortable as we possibly can um, and do what we can to keep and just remind them that we're keeping their kids safe to the best of our ability. So that Joe and Yasmin, more kids are already getting sick and now they're heading into the classroom. And of course, we hope that somehow they are able to get an education without experiencing outbreaks in their own schools. All right, Von Hilliard reporting from Tallahassee. Von, thank you.